Hey guys, how have you been? It's been about four months since I've made a video and the reason for that is because we just recently bought a house and moved. So it's been really hectic with the whole escrow and then packing and unpacking and we recently celebrated my son's second birthday. So things are calm down now and I want to start filming more often and I guess get back into the YouTube thing that I was trying to start. And um, a lot's happened in the past four months. I've sold a lot of my bags. I've bought a few new items. And I just recently got this one, actually last night. And I wanted to make a video today. This is my new to me Neverfull MM in the Damier Ibin. And I am obsessed. I can't even believe how much I love this bag. And I've only had it for a day. It's insane. I've been chasing this bag for so long. But it's one of those cases where I have it on my wish list. I'm saving for it. I'm going to buy it. And then something else catches my eye. And I end up buying that instead. And it's happened to me like three or four times already where I've bought a different handbag than this one that I've been looking for that I've been wanting and I don't know I was talking to my good friend Mary on Instagram and I'm like oh I don't know why don't why won't I buy this bag what's wrong with me why do I I have the money and then I spend it maybe I'm scared I'm afraid I'm going to be disappointed or something and she encouraged me just buy the bag you're going to love it trust me you're going to love it so much and I was hell-bent on buying at the store. I live about an hour and a half away from the South Coast Plaza. So I was just going to go over there, buy the new bag with the new orange box and have the ribbon and the little pochette that it comes with. And I had sold a lot of handbags in my collection. Ones that I sold all my Michael Kors bag, I sold all my Kate Spade bag, I sold all my Coach, except for the one, the hologram bag that you saw in my favorites video because that one is one of my favorites, like all time favorites. It's so beautiful. I get so many compliments on that. And it's only a Coach bag. But, anyways, I kept that one. Um, I sold a few of my other Louis Vuitton bags that I, I had, and I'll, I'll mention those in a minute. So I got rid of a lot of things and a lot of other things around my house. I've been trying to do this whole minimalist lifestyle thing. <coughs> Excuse me. This whole minimalist lifestyle thing. And um, I read a few books on it. I've been all over Pinterest about how to simplify your wardrobe, how to simplify your belongings and things like that. Because I don't like clutter. I can't stand clutter. Unnecessary items messy just I can't stand it and I didn't know what to do and it, moving was the perfect opportunity to try to get rid of things that I no longer use I didn't need anymore I had duplicates of things that were outdated obsolete so I've been trying really hard to clear out like everything in my house and my husband's like what are you doing this is crazy wait where did this go where did that go I'm like oh nope we don't use it I got rid of it so it feels better to have a fresh start and like I said I was gonna buy it brand new from the store with the pochette but I recently joined a group on Facebooks and it's the Louis Vuitton addiction it's like buy sell and chat for like on Facebook a group and they have like 46,000 members um, and it's just a place where I guess you can like post up your bags you have for sale um, buy other pre-loved bags get authentication advice, things like that, just chat, you know, and like be around other people that understand your obsession because a lot of my, I guess like family, friends, things like that, that are like close to me, I'm like, oh, I got a new Louis Vuitton bag and they're like, seriously, you bought another one, how much did that one cost you? And I'm like, well, never mind. So I don't even, I don't even go there anymore. I don't, I just kind of keep that out of my my personal life. So it's good to have a group of friends that are genuinely happy for you, are excited for you. You can talk to back and forth about, oh, did you see this bag? Oh, I love this bag and this print. Give me your advice. What do you think between the two of these? You know, so it's been really nice to feel connected to other people because that's something that I've been looking for for a long time. I've been feeling like I don't 
connect to anyone like my I don't have friends anymore because I am only 22 years old and having a son moving away like buying your own house and moving away it disconnected me from a lot of people and it's been kind of lonely I admit I a few of my best friends they no longer talk to me and it is what it is you know you you move on you don't fit into a certain crowd of people anymore so it's nice to have other people that <laughs> I could still connect to and bond with and enjoy, you know, communicating with and things like that. So anyways, back to the handbag. I saw this one on the Facebook group and it was just posted for like 30 seconds. And I took a few screenshots and I sent it to my awesome friend Mary that sold me the my Tames that I'm still obsessed with that bag. It's the perfect bag for going out. I highly recommend you find it somewhere on the Flu Love market and you add it to your collection because you will not regret it. Even the GM size would be great. And they also have it in a Damier print. Anyways, I sent her the photos and I said, okay, it's only this much. What should I do? And she said, okay, well, do you really need to have it from the store or do you mind having it pre-loved because that's a really good price, you know, and it, the condition was really good, authentic. Um... You know, I had it authenticated from, I think the site is called like Memes, Memes Treasure, something like that. I had her do a verbal authentication, and it does cost a little bit of money, but for peace of mind, I think it's worth it. And um, so I was messaging the girl, I said, okay, well, can you show me a little bit more pictures, you know, of like the corners, is the red showing any piping, how does it smell, things like that. And I said, okay, you know what? I'll take it. I don't want to miss the opportunity because every time I've seen any Neverfuls on there in the Damier that are like good prices, they go out like that and they're gone. And I didn't want to miss the opportunity, so I jumped on it and two days later, here it is. It shipped so fast. I can't even believe it. And my seller was amazing. I'll put a link below to she she sent me her business card. She has like a Facebook page and like things where she does like consignment I think or I think she buys them pre-loved and resells them like cleans them up you know um either way I'll send you her link below because she's got a lot of amazing deals and I really think you should check those out I am a huge fan of pre-loved handbags I cannot stress enough that they're just the greatest thing ever I get so paranoid using a brand new bag that that's why I ended up selling my Tivoli PM the one that was my very first Louis Vuitton one of my favorites honestly I had only ever used it like five times in the year and a half that I had it and that ended up funding my Neverfull and I have no regrets I do miss it a little bit because it was it's sentimental to me my first handbag I'll never sell it but at the end of the day, it was just sitting there collecting dust. And every time I would go to use it, I would fill it, get ready to walk out the door. And I'm like, oh, I can't do it. What if I have to set it down somewhere and it's going to get dirty? What if I bang it up against something and it's going to get scuffed? I don't want to get the handles patinaed too much. I was I was too, too nervous to use it. So it never got touched. And I didn't feel like that was fair. So... I ended up selling it along with my Alma PM. I had a vintage Alma PM. They just didn't carry enough for me, so I ended up selling that one. I had the Mila Clutch that I also sold. That one actually bought me my couches. I sold my Alma and my Mila, and I bought new couches for my house. So no regrets there. I got fresh couches. <laughs> and then um, I sold my Musette Tango. That one which wasn't working out for me. It was too small. Um... I sold my Viva Cite. That one was also I had the MM size, the Viva Cite, and it is just too small for me. I'm a tote bag girl. I love tote bags. I love giant handbags. So I have my Neverfull, and I have another bag that I want to show you really quick. I realize I've already been talking for nine minutes, rambling on. I'm sorry. It's been a while since I made a video, so I'm really excited. Um, moving on. Never full, and I did put my favorite bag charm. This is the Fleur de Monogram bag charm, and it retails for 520 currently on the Louis Vuitton website. And I think the Never Full with the pochette and everything uh, currently retails for $1,260 plus tax. It comes out to like $1,380, $1,360, something like that. I don't remember exactly, but it's almost $1,400. So 
the fact that I got to save money and buy it in excellent condition was a huge plus for me. I ended up treating myself to uh, a toiletry bag in here as well that I will be showing you. So the interior of the Neverpool is that beautiful bright red and it has the gold hardware. It features the one back pocket. Oh, you can't really see. Just the one back pocket that kind of does, you know, stand alone. There is no other interior pockets in it. But it does have that little D ring that currently I have my key clay that's been holding spare change, gift cards, things like that. Um, rewards cards. So, just a really quick what's in my bag. I did get the monogram agenda pm i think this is in like the old style monogram because i've seen now they have lv lv there's like two little lvs on the front and it's just one solid piece of canvas that wraps around and it has a little snap closure i'll probably be doing a video of like how you know what's in my agenda how i have my agenda set up so agenda pm and i've been obsessed since i've had it and I have my mini pochette that I usually just keep like my personal toiletry items, you know, whatever. Um, I have an extra phone charger in here. I've already done a what's in my pochette. You know, it doesn't change from day to day, week to week. It's always the same exact items in my pochette. I also have my monogram six key holder, which update from when I bought it about four months ago. It is wearing beautifully. I don't see anywhere. I throw this thing around. It just gets tossed into my bag. I do not baby it. And it's still beautiful since day one. And this one I did buy brand new from um, Costa Mesa Louis Vuitton. And I also picked up a zippy coin purse in Damier EB. And this was my first Damier piece that I had because everything I have is monogram or Vernie. I do have an epi bag now which I will probably post in another video. Um, I bought this one from my gorgeous friend Violet on Instagram who I think she lives in like Italy. I thought that was so cool. Um, yeah this is the Zippy coin purse. I've been using it every single day since I got it from her a few months ago. That was before the move. Um, so yeah just quick look inside it's got all my credit cards in there you know my IDs um, debit cards and it just zip around it's the perfect size it's really compact but I think I will actually be switching it out to my only long wallet that I have from Louis Vuitton and that is the international wallet in the burning leather and this is the Amarant color I bought this one off Yugi's closet when this was the very first wallet that I got from Louis Vuitton and this was the one that I ended up keeping. I ended up selling all my other wallets. So I now have my Zippy Compact, my Key Clay, and this wallet. All my other wallets, my Marc Jacobs. Um, what else did I have? I had another. I think I had a Coach wallet. All of the ones I sold. I don't need a wallet. I have a small one, a really small one, the Key Clay, and a long one. And I am obsessed with the Amarant Vernie color. And so is my husband. I have a little pen in there. Oh, I've been looking for this pen. Oh, that might actually fit in my agenda. I'll have to check later. The agenda it has like the smallest, smallest little ring. None of my pens fit in there. So yeah, since I've got the Neverfull now, I'm going to be switching to this wallet since I have a little bit more space. Um, and the toiletry pouch that I recently got is the Trous Trous 23. I don't exactly know how you pronounce it. This is a vintage piece. And I got it off of Mercari for an amazing price. And at first, I got really scared when I got home and I got this bag because the date code in it is like TH. Let me see. The date code says, where is it? TH8909. And I thought, oh my gosh, the 80th week of 1999, that doesn't even exist. I got a fake. But then I found out that vintage pieces, their date codes are different, which means the ninth month of 1989. So 
okay, I'm not tripping. I had it authenticated as well, just like at a quick glance. I posted it up on the group. It was like, oh my gosh, I think it's a fake. And they're like, no, I think it's okay. It's just a vintage piece. It's a little bit different. So then I'm like, okay, that's fine. And I went and got a verbal approval from memes and like, yeah, it's fine. It looks good. Um, so this is what's in my Trails 23. I got this for the purpose of my son's items because I tried to fit them in my pochette. My, I have a pochette accessoires that I took the handle off and I've been using as a clutch or like a toiletry bag. And I usually put my son's diapers in here. I think I posted it in my last video. And it's just a little bit too short for what I need it for. And there's my son <laughs> in the background. He's playing his games and he's getting frustrated. Um, I have a little wipe case that I like to use instead of taking like a big container full of like wipes for my son. I really like using just a plastic case. And it was barely too big to fit in the pochette it like so so close you see it's like literally min millimeters away from fitting and I don't feel like stretching this out so this one is perfect like I said it fits my my wipe case I have diapers in there other little knickknacks his little fruit packs that he likes to snack on and it's perfect and it fits so great in when you never pull so yeah other than that like in the pocket um in the pocket i just have like another phone charger my sunglasses um yeah so that's pretty much it and it was in such a great condition she told me oh there's a stain make sure you are aware that there is a stain in the bottom because i don't want you to be disappointed and i don't even see a stain i can't even see it so my Okay, yeah, there's a stain, but I don't know where. So, I'm really happy about that, and, oh my gosh, I've already been talking for 17 minutes. Sorry. Really quickly, the last item that I wanted to show you guys is another that I bought off Fashion File. This is my first Gucci bag. And I was not in the market for this. It wasn't on any wish list, but I saw it on Fashion File. I fell in love with the color, and I had to grab it. So this is my Gucci swing tote, and I think this is the large size tote, the medium large. Um, compared to the Neverfull real quick, you know, they're about, they're about the same size, you know. And they, they have both kind of that, like, smooshy, they both have the really thin straps, kind of smooshy leather. Um, yeah, right now I have it, like, stuffed full of like what is those called bubble wrap air pillows things like that um it doesn't have any other pockets it just has this one zipper pocket and the inside is like a another type of canvas um it has a magnetic closure whereas the, the Louis Vuitton has like a little d-ring clasp closure but the magnet on it is really strong and I am totally in love this is a fuchsia um, I think that's what the color is considered is fuchsia. And on the front, it does say made in Italy by Gucci. So, yeah, I've been loving this. There's no no feet at the bottom or anything, but it's such a great tote. It's really open, just like the Neverfull. I think it's a, a great alternative. Um, the resale value does not hold up on these bags. I've noticed that every bag that I've seen on the resale market is amazingly priced in their, like, brand freaking new because they just... They don't hold their value, I guess. Um, whereas the Neverfull, I've seen, will resell for close to retail value for a bag that is pretty well loved. So I think it just depends if you get lucky and you find a deal. Um, I think this is a great alternative to the Neverfull if you're not very fond of the Monogram or the um, the Damier, Epi, whatever different styles that they have in the Monogram, that this is just a solid color. It is like a pebbled calf leather. And I'm obsessed with this one as well. So those are my two bags. That's what's in my Neverfull. I apologize for taking up 20 minutes of your time, but it's been four months. So, oh, well, I'm glad to be back. Let me know what you guys have sold, what you guys have bought since I've been gone. I missed you guys. 
hopefully going to do another video. I might film it right after this one since I'm in the talking mood. So, there you go. <laughs> Hope to see you next week. Bye.